Hey, uh, Dan here at StockMarketMentor.com on Saturday, um, November 24th. First of all, I hope you had a good Thanksgiving and uh, you were safe. And remember that we've got a lot to give, uh, be thankful for. Um, you know, no matter what your uh, current situation is, my bet is there's a big, big, big majority of people in the world who would love to have your worst day. And so um, let's not forget that, all right? Okay, now let's talk about uh, the other side, good days. Look at research in motion. Um, this is a weekly chart. We'll get to the daily in a second. But this is a clean breakout from a volatility squeeze. You can see, uh, you can see the squeeze uh, right here. And unlike, oh, just about every stock in the market, um, this has higher than average volume. Um, it's really, really um, strong. And you'll see that uh, about all of that volume came on Friday. Um, so look, we've got the squeeze. We've got the breakout. Squeeze right there. Now we've got the breakout, and it's up against the 200-day moving average. So let's look um, a little more closely. Uh, we want to buy this thing. Uh, but you look at the daily chart. Now, the reason this thing got jacked up was there's an analyst came out. Um, he set a new price target at 15. Um, that's up here, by the way, a prior resistance. That's a good thing. Um, he thinks that the BlackBerry 10 phones come out in February, and um, uh, the guy really thinks that they've got, basically the stock has more upside in it before these phones come out. So he must think that the phones are pretty darn good. The stock is starting to run in anticipation of that release, kind of like Apple did um, in anticipation of its new iPhone. So what do we do? Um, I couldn't, I'm already long the stock, I've been long for a while. Um, now, of course, it went up almost 14%, and I'm thinking, well, I sure didn't have enough of that, did I? Uh, but I wouldn't buy more here. Um, even though the stock could go higher, you never know, um, could ramp up even higher still. It's just not disciplined to buy. If you are going to buy, what I would suggest doing is looking at the low of 1126. If the stock starts pulling back below that level, it's doing what I think it's going to do, and that is either stall here, maybe run a little bit higher, but ultimately it's going to pull back, not necessarily find this low, but at least perhaps find the 200-day moving average. So again, if you're buying right now, that's fine, uh, as long as you keep a fairly tight stop. If you're more disciplined, um, I think you just wait on this. Um, certainly if you're already long, wait to... Um, Wait to take a bigger position. Um, that's what I'm going to do. I don't know. I may even sell into strength on Monday. Or if the stock falls below this level, again, the 1126, I may take profits. That's only 14 cents below where the stock closed. So that's probably actually what I do when I really think about it. If it falls below here, I'm taking profits, but I'm definitely looking to reload. Okay, that's it for this. Members, I've got three videos for you. Um, we're covering actually quite a bit of stocks here, but, and this is to everybody, volume was really thin. That means that Friday's move, in my view, is not to be believed. Again, it's not to say that it's not, that the market's not going to go higher, but when you've got volume so low, um, it really casts a shadow of doubt on how much further um, the market gonna go, it's, is going to go. So anyway, members, get over to the weekend update and have a good um, rest of the Thanksgiving uh, weekend.